Hi, welcome to Pop Up Perfume Reviews here at Being Womanly. I've noticed in my perfume videos that I'm always like with these perfumes. Like, I just want to put out a PSA that I treat my perfumes very well with both hands. I treat them delicately because they cost a good coin and I'm not trying to slam or break or bust any of my perfumes. I'm going to move forward and treat them with more care, truly. Welcome to Being Womanly, pop-up perfume reviews. I got a whole new perfume for my collection and it is Saint Laurent. This is Black Opium Neon. I had to say it like that. This perfume is made with coffee accord. It has orange blossom and dragon fruit. My first thought is one I've always, I've grown up seeing black opium at Sephora. I've seen it at plenty of fragrance shops and I never gravitated towards black opium. I always thought the coffee accord was really intimidating. I was like, I don't know if this fragrance will work with me. You know, um, I didn't really take any notice of the collection. So I have been slacking. I have been missing out. And now I gotta make up for it because this perfume, this black opium neon, it hits different, you know, in the words of SZA, it'd be hitting different, you know, and I can't play her song because I don't got the coins or the rights to do so. I would like to keep my monetization as a hopeful future achievement, so. <laughs> but with these notes, it's supposed to be, you know, like, its own unique fragrance because not too many perfumes gravitate towards coffee plus dragon fruit plus you know orange blossom all together all like weaved and dancing like a party together but they work in this fragrance it works and what I love the most always is a unique fragrance I love when they do it so well and this black opium collection they do it so well with using copy accord and they know how to just take what other people don't want to use that coffee that cafe and mix it with dragon fruit and also the orange blossom to create their own unique fragrance so let me spritz it for you So, one thing that sold me with the Black Opium Neon was it was energizing. Even on the website, when I do my research, I'm typing research to look into perfumes, they were like, this one is energizing, it's uplifting. Who doesn't need an uplifting perfume to add to your collection? Something that, you know, you're starting your day off, or you're about to go out to do a two-step at a dance. Clubbing. I don't know anything about clubbing, but soon, soon, hopefully, all the clubs are open, all the events are open here where I live. But I'm still work, home, coffee shop, shopping, adventures to get my hair done, um, flying around. I haven't gone clubbing yet. I got to. I, I miss dancing, and I, I want to spray this on my outfit all around me and go dancing. That's, that's my engine for sure. This kicks off just instantly. It smells really like sophisticated. It's a bright fragrance, just bright notes, but sophisticated. So you know that well-suited woman in the office who's about her business? I can see her wearing this along with a gal who wants to go two-step, 
me. Oh, he's already two step in somewhere there. I'm not invited yet. I, I gotta get invited. I, I'm gonna invite myself. I'm gonna be that gal who invites herself. This is something I feel like can stretch out into all different environments. It does not just have to be at night. I've already worn it into my office and I like it. That, that's enough said, I like it. And I like that it energizes me. I like that it's a bright fragrance with sophistication. That, <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be bright, bubbly, bubble gum, like a previous video I shared. You can go check that video out. And then also it doesn't have to be so deep. It could have gone real deep with the coffee, real deep with these notes, but they played it right. They played this right. And I know as it airs out even more, I do feel like this is a fragrance that's strong enough that you don't need to, you know, swim in this fragrance. You don't need to drench yourself in this fragrance. You do not need to bathe in this fragrance. I feel like it's a good, you know, spritz, spritz, wrist, dab. You good, you good. You smell real good, you got the good good on. So definitely take black opium out, you know, out on the town. You got yourself a two piece of boo, you know, you might want to go dancing and he going to be leaning in. He or she going to be leaning in like, ooh, you smell good. And like, yeah, I got that black opium neon on. Ooh, I never smelled that before. You wearing it. He's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you might have to mm, like back up a little bit. You on me. You trying to taste me. Back up. We, I got to get my dance on. I gotta get my dance on, okay? You know when you smell too good, you gotta let people know to back up off you. Back up off me. I know I smell good, but I wanna get my dance on, okay? This might be the fragrance where you're like, all right, <laughs> gotta have some boundaries. But check it out. Like, share, and subscribe here to Being Womanly Pop-Up Perfume Reviews. And check out some future fragrances that I'm going to share for you.